What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to yet another Inform Analysis and today we have the Bulgarian that is Dimitar Berbatov. This guy has so much flair in real life, the pity is that his work rates are quite low so the team has to kind of play around him. Now Xbox 360 you see there his price is around 50k, PS3 47, he's got a 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Now his card stats look okay, probably the main one there in terms of negatives is the pace just 69 so it doesn't really look good pace wise but i'll show you his in-game stats in just a bit now to the squad builder and it's going to be a bit different it's all premier league but it's every different nationality basically we can't have the same nationality up front alongside him we've got tevez of course tevez he was a former man united player himself like berbatov so he is up front alongside berbatov sessignon in just behind with John Bosajour, Bosajour, I'm not sure how you say that. He's from Chile on the left-hand side for Wigan. He plays in this exact formation for Wigan, so he'll be pretty good out there defensive-wise as well as attacking. Now we have John Obi Mikel in at CDM. He actually agreed to transfer to Manchester United from the club he came from. I think it was Lynn in Norway before Chelsea snapped him up. Very sneakily, there was a lot of controversy around that move. Czech Teote is alongside him, and we've got fellow Newcastle United player in Ben Arthur, the Frenchman. So we've got a guy from Benin, we have a guy from Chile, we've got a guy from Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and France in the midfield. Up front, Bulgaria, Argentina, we've got Embia there of Cameroon. We have Daniel Aga in at centre-back from Denmark and alongside him. You've probably just seen him just a second ago. We have Thomas Bermalen of Belgium. And to round off this team, we go to Poland. And the keeper is Fabianski from Arsenal. He really impressed me, actually. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeper on this game. I really didn't expect much from him. Him and Borsajur, especially, they really impressed me throughout the games that I did play with Berbatov. Now here are his in-game stats and as you can see they don't really look the best. Ball control, yes, that is brilliant. Finishing is superb, his dribbling's good, his curve's good. Honestly, if you get in and around the box with this guy, just hit a curve shot. The finesse shots with him are so good. There's his let down there, the work rates both low, so he's kind of just standing around half the time. His pace is pretty poor, his sprint speed's low, his acceleration's low, his agility's low, but he's one of those players that, if you're not a pace whore, which I know nearly every single person on my team is, he is perfect, he is superb up front. Nice little assist there in the first game, just three minutes in then, held off the ball strongly before putting Borsajor through one on one and he finished with a plum. Now this is so unlucky from Berbatov. Look at the finesse behind that shot. I thought that was going in the top corner all day long and that was his first sighter for me in front of goal until this. This is a brilliant goal to cap off his first for the team. Just taking on players galore before just putting it in the bottom corner almost effortless. <laughs> it just looked effortless with Berbatov. Like I was saying he doesn't have the pace of other strikers but he's got that technical ability that just makes him get in the right positions, he's great on the ball, he's good in and around the area, he nabs the winning goal in this game, 90 minutes on the clock, powerful header there, almost like Duncan Ferguson in his prime there, just rising like the salmon to nod home in the 90th minute, now I normally play cup games, but with Dimitar Berbatov and this squad, I did play league games in Division 1, and pretty much successful most of them there, the second game, Dimitar Berbatov yet again, on the volley, another great finish, lovely assist though from Tevez, I think it was, later on in that game. He's involved yet again, I just couldn't hold off Thiago Silva though here, as you can see, but I do get very lucky with that goal in the end. Dimitar Berbatov yet again, nice little scissor kick there towards the near post. Then this time Berbatov just getting in those positions just perfectly, he's unlucky with a long shot, it loops up in the air comes down he nearly actually gets his head on it before he does nab a head on from the corner head on I don't know whether that's a sin or not but he does get his head on the ball that sounds a lot better than head on and then this is the best goal he scored for me in my eyes chest scissor kick volley in at the near post that just sums up this guy's card this guy if you're not a pace hole buy him if you are 
he might let you down because he just drift slightly from the striking position to a lot more deeper roles. He assisted Borsajor there for the goal and then he does nab another goal and this is very simple. Just a little cutback. Keep out with an idiotic pass out. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 because I think he is amazing. And that is it for this episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did and I'll see you guys next time.